Hello and welcome to the second episode of Danganronpa. We are continuing with the... I think it's still the prologue, so... Let's keep going with the prologue. Can you hear me? Are this you looks familiar. Okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. In case you didn't know, this voice actor is Bryce Pappenbrook. He's... Um, the same voice actor as Makoto in Danganronpa 1. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Just me and, hey. me and him. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There, there's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean. So you've got like birds, like 2D birds flapping in the background. It's uh, it's odd to look at because the only reason you can tell they're birds is the shape, not the texture. The sun's rays beaming down on me. The soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope Speak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse, you can move the radical. Yeah, whatever. If the radical responds, press the left mouse button. You can examine the personal object. You can shift your point of view with WASD. The tab, you can use... A mysterious power that lets you see everything you can examine. The world has become super convenient if you're if, if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now then, please search the beach thoroughly and progress the story. All right, cool. I could skip through the tutorial stuff because that's stuff only I need to know. But um, so yeah, we got nice little beach here, some shadows, flowers. The tab mode is this, which just shows me like all the clues in the area, basically, so I can look at the waves, the crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Um, the monitor. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What's this being used for? Uh, a surveillance camera? Hmm? Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Uh, are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. I love like the pixels on his shirt, like the big red squares and then that like twirly thing. It, cool design for a character. Coconut tree. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree. <laughs> That's a fine looking barbecue. But now is not the time for me to be impressed by it. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Nagito Komaeda. Ultimate lucky student. Ah, along with my introduction. If you remember, in the first game, Makoto was um, was the ultimate lucky student. I guess I will also tell you about my talent, so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. <sighs> well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. Huh? What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. <laughs> Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend Hope Speak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by the lottery? Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? That's strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. 
Oh, no, I, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me? I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope's Peak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy is an amazing, is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy, so for that I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. <laughs> ah, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Nagato Komaeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy. But he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Mm. Then, let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank, blank, blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to record completely vanished from my mind. Huh? huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime? What happened? Uh, uh, <clears throat> it's nothing. I guess... I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. Hmm. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember once you've settled down. I think if I do... I often do the poses of Danganronpa characters whenever I'm voicing them because it helps me get <laughs> the voice of what they're trying to say. And it just... It's doing like the teapot spout. So... I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. Then, I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Obtained Hope Fragment! <laughs> hey, did something just beep? W what a weird sound! It wouldn't be a dang and romper game without it getting super for the wall breaky. <laughs> I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone? Why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Uh, Usami was passing them out earlier. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. You seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I, I think I kind of remember it, but... What is this? Ding, 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 ding. It's an e-handbook! What the? Where'd you come from? I'm sorry. Oh, did I startle you? Terribly sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to apologize like a good girl! Um, anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely- I remember my voice I did for Usami now. I didn't remember it last thing, but I've just- I've just gone back into it. That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it! <laughs> Cause the thing is, Usami isn't voice acted with much emotion. You can hear the voice acting's weird, and I think that's very purposeful. So, I just have to not put effort into emphasizing any words. I just emphasize every word at random volumes, and it works. This device, is that important? I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right. Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, love. Love, love. Hey. She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks. <laughs> I would call it shouting more than talking. And also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's the deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. Y you're probably right, but... More importantly, 
You don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then, I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? <laughs> So, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explain the island at the same- explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you! So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. Alright! Shall we get going then? But, is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate. Or is that- What's her name? U Usami's fault. What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh. What kind of nightmare is that? You are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the handbook with F1. Oh, I hate that they do that. <laughs> the controls in Danganronpa are like the biggest problem with it. Um, it includes the guidelines of a school trip and report card which documents everyone's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can save and load, check the system page. You can also view the transcript. Hopefully we won't have to do that. That's all there is to say. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone here. All oh, right, you can exit the beach with the R key. Okay, so handbook. Go to map, question marks, presence, report card, regulations, pet, and system. We'll check the report card. So that's got all the characters um, here. Now, the only character that has a name so far is Nagato Kamaeda, obviously. So Nagato, we know he's 5'9", 143 pounds, 33 inches, blood type O, date, date of birth, April 28th. He likes pretty things, he dislikes noisy places, and he's the ultimate lucky student. Um, and then us, we're 5'8", slightly shorter, 147, 36 inches, blood type A, January 1st is his date of birth. He likes Kusamochi, dislikes Sakuramochi, and his ultimate question mark, it says. Um, so yeah, as we go through, we're gonna get all these, uh, we're gonna get the names of all these characters and all their talents and stuff. We probably won't even get it all in one episode, but we'll get as much as we can done in an episode. Regulations. Rule 1. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Rule 2. Be considerate of each other and work hard to obtain hope fragments. Rule 3. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in mutual pro prosperity. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. Any exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Uh, an exception to this rule is made for a student violence rule. So there you go. Pretty, like, in contrast to the first game, the first game had pretty, like, intense evil rules. <laughs> like, the rules in this game are much lighter. Alright, leave here. Hey. Uh, about exploring the island. Um, also, my voice for um, Nagato, just for a little bit of background information, it's my, it's close to my impression of um, Bakura from Yu-Gi-Oh. There's a guy who looks sort of like him and has a soft voice called Bakura and um, and I always used to do an impression of him when I was young and so when I saw Nagato I was like, yep, yeah, he's gonna be Bakura's voice. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this ebook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. W wait, you can research stuff like that on the, on the internet? Huh? Huh? You don't know? This school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then, was I also... Hmm... I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help you out too. So why don't we begin making your introductions? Uh, okay, you're right. So first, I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island then. Oh, I should apologize. There was something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map, you'll be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel. Um, exclamation point is where the story progresses. Again, 
not stuff you need to know. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with WASD and you can run by holding the shift key while you move. If you press Q and E, you can uh, move instantly to the next area. When the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing left mouse. And you have your own, very own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. So the pet that it's talking about is the one that's right here. So here's our pet. Right now, it is just a little, uh, a little egg. So it'll take a hundred steps until it grows. All right. So this is, uh, they changed up the movement in this game. So this is the main way of moving around. It's on a 2D plane um, instead of like the, the 3D plane that was in the first game. So we've got a ranch here. Let's go into the ranch. Usami Coral. This looks like a ranch. Very perceptive, Nagato. Though there aren't any animals, aren't many animals around. Right? Oh, you found it out! You again? Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I, I can show up anywhere, anytime! The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island! Ta-da! It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick! Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy she's holding? Hmm. <sighs> Still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> I love the term moo cows. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty. Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi. Bibbidi bibbidi, bobbidi bobbidi. Boo. Turn into a moo cow. Just now, uh, a, a ch chicken ch changed into a cow. That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A, a trick, an illusion. Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know. <laughs> I like how the cow is like three distinct shapes. It's like the back half, this leg, and the front half, which is clearly like on a tilt. All right, we have two characters here. So let's start with this character right here. Squish, squish. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she's pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name's Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Hyoko Sayanji. Hyoko! Ultimate traditional dancer. Squish, squish. I haven't had to do any voice for her so far. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice is so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. <laughs> it's probably because she looks so young, her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Yeah, that's it. Squish, squish. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Hmm? I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ants. Mr. Duh. And of course, I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> if you squish it, Tommy, it's just right. It makes this awesome sound. Hey, you. Uh, Want to do it together? H hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you wuss. This, this kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Change hope fragment. All right, next student. Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. What do you mean finally meet you, Hajime? You just saw her 10 seconds ago. You, it, you didn't take that long. Gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? 
Oh, huh? I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names, and I've met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> uh, I'm Nagato Komaeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo! Yo! My name's Akane oh. Awari. Nice to meet ya. Akane! Ultimate gymnast! Well... Akane's known as the ultimate gymnast, and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. She's definitely what? got a physique. Huh? Don't tell me you- no Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. <laughs> Absolute troll. Based on appearances, it looks like just a regular run-of-the-mill cow. It's a moo cow, Hajime. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? All right. We got, we have two students down. Hey, that was pretty quick. Introductions actually don't take as long as I remembered they did. Um, the hotel is a pretty big area, so I'm just going to go to the next one and come back to it, if I remember. Rocket Punch Market. Market. I, I mean, I will have to remember to come back to the thing, because the game's not going to progress until I <laughs> see all the characters. So, this is a supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. Aren't they gonna go off for a while? Wow. It's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all the stuff is poisoned? What? Huh. You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am! Every even the supermarket is strange. Look around! We're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. Mm. Uh there were two other people here, but whatever. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is un uninhabited? Th that's exactly my point. Ah! What happened? What happened? It's nothing. <laughs> She's staring at me funny. Um, 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 you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We both did the voice at the same time. Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may, may I please remember your name? Uh, uh, of course. I don't mind you remembering it, but... M my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. I can't remember Mikan's voice actress. Ultimate Nurse! relatable as fuck. That seems ex excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. <laughs> Isn't he just putting on more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so what's her deal? Ah, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. <laughs> don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just, I, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Oh, no, not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. Oh, I won't do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Bullying a girl. 
Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Obtained hope fragment. I've never felt more hopeful. What's up? Peeking. Peeking. Hello. Oh, hi. Who are you? Uh, um, uh, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello. Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh. Oh, that's right. Introductions are a go-go. E Buki, Mio, Da. Put it together and what do you get? Ibuki Mio Da. Here she is, ultimate musician. There's so much going on with Ibuki's design. Yes. All right, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They got I hamburger, see. ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst pasta, ooh, melons. No problem. <laughs> Fucking sprite. Americans, cheese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Ubari would shop here. Yeah. Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors stoked for all this deliciousness. And when I'm excited, I get hungry, mungry. I don't understand it myself. What? Oh, I'm. Her voice is gonna adjust a lot over time, I think. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> um, this energetic young lady is the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, their hit single, After School Poyonyon Hour, sold over a million copies. Um, is that a K-On reference? I hadn't seen K-On when I first played this game. But... That might be uh, um, a K-On reference, right? After school tea time, all girl high school band. Anyway, that sounds familiar. What? Oh, he said that sounds familiar. It's a reference to something, I think. Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Are you interested? Whoa, you can hear me? <laughs> Duh, Ibuki's a musician after all. Guitar! Like like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna. I, too, and I'm, I'm an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. <laughs> Cute. 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 I love her. All right. That's the Supreme Market. Let's keep on going. To the airport. Oh, actually, I think I know. I think I know what's coming up here. The characters that we're going to come across here. One of which I don't believe is spoken yet. Correct. One of these characters has not spoken yet, so I haven't done my voice. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes? <laughs> Hajime, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Can we just use those planes to escape the island? Nah, nah that, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed. There are a few characters in this game that my voice is pretty different to the voice actor doing it. And I think Kazuichi is one of them. Whoever brought us to this island must have done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal with his army. But who's doing this? And why'd they bring us to this island in the first place? And how'd they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense That's it makes. That's right! Oh yeah! That reminds me! You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya! Actually, our voice is not that different choice-wise. There's a reason I chose our voice. Ultimate mechanic! <laughs> <laughs> As expected from someone called the Ultimate Mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah. It's pretty there. That voice line is probably what I based this voice off of. And going, that was close. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty strange. But I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh, 
That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook. I, I already looked at these, so we don't really have to... The game is assuming we didn't look at it, so... For now... It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like just any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Yusami said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know. But... Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at the situation with a bit more hope, you know. Optimism is essential for people to live with live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. Hope fragment. All right, here we go. Can I still do this voice? <clears throat> God. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? Fine. Hmm. I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> I sucked in spit. Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However... I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Gundam Tanaka, ultimate breeder. I love Gundam's design and voice acting. Rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Huh? You! Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Uh, huh? What do you mean, pact? Burn Answer me now! Though I shall... <laughs> Though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps. I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible! So, a mere insect. Taste your ha! powerlessness! Your magic essence caps are at a lowly five. Trash. Trash, really. Hm. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. My name is Who Gundam do you think Tanaka. I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, Supreme Overlord of Ice. Hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is Daming. the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> his lines, his voice lines are so long that he talks over me. Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark davis of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk Jumpy has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> <laughs> Obtained hope fragment. Um, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a me member of the bre breeding club. I heard he can tame any animal and even managed to succeed at proliferating en an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. Well, there we go. That's a good place to uh, wrap this one up. We passed the half hour mark. Um, we got introduced to four characters or so. Um, so we got introduced to uh, Gundam Tanaka, who is 5'9", 163, 37 inches, blood type B, December 14th is his date of birth. He likes his four Dark Davis of Destruction. He dislikes earthly life. And he's the ultimate breeder. We got Kazuichi Soda. 
Um, he's 5'6", 141, 34 inches, broad type A. Born June 29th, he likes coke, dislikes sugar-free anything. <laughs> he's, that's relatable. He's the ultimate mechanic. Um, then we got introduced to Akane Awari. She's 5'7", 123, chest size 37 inches, blood type B. Date of birth, July 15th, pretty close to my birthday. She likes fighting and meat, dislikes working hard. Um, and we got Hiyoko. Four, two, <laughs> four foot two, 68 pounds, 25 inches, blood type B, March 9th. She likes squish squishy. She dislikes lectures and sour stuff. Uh, we got Makan. Oops, I didn't mean to get out of that one. We got Makan, uh, who's 5'4", 125 pounds, 35 inches, blood type A, May 12th. She likes bathroom smells and alcohol. She dislikes oversized things. And finally, Ibuki Miyoda, 5'3", 92 pounds, 30 inches, AB blood type, November 27. She likes walking, napping, and gaming. She dislikes boredom. Ultimate musician. So, that's it for this part. Hopefully by the next episode, we'll have introduced ourselves to every cast member. So, uh, see you then. Bye.